So another try at this mission. Um, I can't because of how I've said I can't buy new troops or different troops. But we'll have to use what we have. But this isn't gonna work. This uh, spreading troops all over and trying to encounter the enemy at all uh, areas it won't work. We basically I see two options here. Either we commit uh, a massive force here because it's a great position to shoot everything coming on this road. With uh, leaving this less well defended, if uh, defended at all, or we try to fight at the center because this is inevitable where every all the fighting units will basically try to zoom in on. The southern army will take this first, but then it'll come north. The main army will come through here and maybe a little bit up here. Some of them will get stuck there, but. Here it's going to be brutal close range fighting. I also checked some of the texts available at this as descriptions. Uh, not, most missions are successes as long as you don't fail it or have a loss of any kind. But some have an alternative text if you have a marginal victory. Basically it just isn't good enough. You either go with a decisive victory or you go home. This is one of those. So, uh, I'm inclined to first try putting a lot of troops here, because it would be quick. So we'll either get murdered immediately, or they get murdered immediately, and it'll basically set the tone for the mission. Uh, we probably don't want to use the helicopters at all, or helicopter. Simply, do we have two? We have two, for God's sake. Uh, because it it's just an, uh, we can't use them to spot anything interesting, and it, it's just another loss for our side. This is probably going to be fairly quick. Uh, how can I? God sakes! I need certain type of units to reach the hill as fast as possible. Uh, you can just stay the fuck away from We don't really want the APCs to go there though. Because we do need to take control of the center, there's no getting around that. The question is, who gets control of the center? It has to be all the infantry and maybe a platoon of tanks, but that will be it. Most of the initial fighting will happen up north. And that's how it needs to be. Uh, these cannot be used. as troop transports. I think I'll leave the Ishermans to go forward here. They're fairly bad at shooting at long ranges anyway. Helicopters really just need to stay out of the way. I didn't even see the missile launchers that took them out. We cannot get here before the enemy can start firing at us. What we do need to do... Uh, is get in the troop carrying APCs as quickly as possible. That it more or less 
to get there as quickly as possible. We we could also sort of use this to peek over and shoot and go back into cover. Our tanks can probably still get fairly good hits doing that. Right, this will basically succeed or fail in the first few turns, but we, the, by the end of the third or fourth turn we'll know if this has any chance of success. Basically, we cannot accept large amount of casualties. That's it. If, if they happen, we, we we're gonna lose anyway, or rather we can't proceed to the next mission. Doesn't matter how much we kill them. Even if we, as long as we get the flags and avoid massive casualties, we'll be fine. But we do need to get to that point. We need to get to the cover of the city as quickly as possible, so I'm stacking these on top of each other. Might be able to shoot some cover smoke. Command unit usually has smoke ammunition. Three. Uh, we would want the smoke somewhere here if at all possible. Can't really do all that much with the helicopters, realistically. Yeah. That's a lot of suppression. Can you just land? I suppose we could save in the middle of fight too, but I this that's the one thing I don't want to do. Basically we try turns until we get it right. The cheap probably can't fire even though it sees enemies. D three enemies spotted. But I want to get a good idea of the range. Yeah, it's about 40. Ah. <sighs> There's really no getting around this. Let's go in there, hope for the best. There more this is I don't think this is gonna work. The more I think about it, I, I don't think this is gonna work, but I suppose we are sort of committed to this. There's too much missile capabilities on the opposite side, that's the main difficulty we have. If it was only tanks or gun firing in general, then yeah, that would work. But we, our main priority should be to defend against the missiles. And we're doing the exact opposite of that.
As long as we get rid of the tanks, we should be more or less okay. The machine guns these have are enough to take down their armor APCs and the units. Actually, it's not going to be quite that simple. But in theory, that should be sufficient. The problem is, the lighter vehicles have the missiles, so I can't exactly ignore them no matter what I do. Also, Sagaratus. Okay, if he's going to guard this path, which is fine, I have to do something else. Um, I probably should send these guys to the southern side. Because there's nothing uh, really protecting our troops here from uh, units uh, coming from this uh, southern area. Now we're fairly close to the enemy already, also I can't... That's too close. Probably better. Question is should I start firing now or wait? If I wait, I'll die, but at the same time I'll get a uh, quite a lot of shots on the next turn. If I shoot now I'll only get a couple of shots on the next turn, but my shots might actually be accurate. They're moving at a fantastic speed, so they would be hard to hit anyway. I think we're going to be slaughtered right on the hill, but that's basically the size. Can we stop now, or are we going to do. Uh, or is, is this worth doing? The center seems like a better choice. It's not. It's not a simple choice. But we could basically ignore the missiles, yeah. There's just too much missile action now. This is not gonna work. Yeah. Stream of APCs. Still a couple of and we failed to rally our troops. That means we're not gonna hit anything. Yeah. Just. I'd like to hit the BMPs if I can. They're the ones with missiles, also they're much more likely to be destroyed if we actually hit them. We do have a decent amount of tanks here, so we could still get a decent amount of effect going if we get a couple of kills. They're, they're so tightly packed that uh, it's uh, I think it's about 8 points of uh, suppression per kill. So yeah that's it it'll start to stack up quite nicely. There's a lot of retreat a couple of retreating units already. So this could still work. Only eight percent We don't need to get a huge amount of kills. Retreating, retreating, retreating.
crew survived. That's all. We want the kill spot somewhere here so they can't keep taking the flags. Right. Now the southern group is starting to be an issue too. Which we know they would be. I'm not sure what, what I'm complaining about. Same thing here. Target BMP is possible. Easier to take down. There's no way we can stay here. <sighs> we need to move further north. The trees here will cover us, the trees will cover us to the south. But if we stay here, they're going to be able to start shooting at us from the of the south, and there's really no cover for us here. So, um, <sighs> there just isn't a perfect spot for us to be. Period. Easy targets for us. BMPs. Ooh, can I shoot at the missile launcher? No. Abandoned it. And get a kill out of it. Not good. Come on, hit it. Terrible, terrible shooting. So, we have you guys. Forgot about them. Fifty five per cent chance to hit. I think we it would have made, made more sense to shoot at the tanks. They have a larger profile. Okay, this might still go badly for us very badly, but we'll see. Too many units. I'm hoping the suppression will keep the missiles inaccurate. Oh, come on. yeah, they have infantry missiles too.
it's not a catastrophic failure yet, so it's worth keeping going. Uh, let's take a look at what we can in general even shoot. A lot of tanks are ready now, so they they recover pretty much immediately. Can't really see the missile launchers. I'm I'm genuinely surprised how quickly they recovered. Like they didn't give two shits about the kind of this we caused. Still, our suppression values are very low, so we should be able to hit fairly accurately. But we, we do need kills. This clickety clickety click shit isn't gonna work. Need better targets. This time things are going fairly well for us. Uh, as far as uh, uh, usually we have to cause uh, quite a lot of clickety clickety clicks before anything really gets done. Have we been able to avoid that at least? Sure, what to do with the APCs? I guess it's better to just get the infantry out. Okay, once they start taking the flags, we can take it a couple of kills out of them. And you are covering the road. Someone does need to cover, so yeah, things look mostly fine. Need more kills. They are spread too much now that the uh, heal in the wrong place is not gonna really aid us too much. Yeah, that's that's pretty much something I can't really afford. P62s are more dangerous. Just not my lucky day anymore. Still, we get a lot of things done, so it's not like it was a total waste. Far away. It's our route. We can ignore them for a turn or two. Ooh, that's ready. That's no good. Uh, it was a decent hit. But we're gonna get a couple of T62s up our asses. And there's not really much I can do about it.
59% seems to be the highest. Yeah, this time the jeeps achieved absolutely nothing. Okay, we'll see how things go. Still could go either way. We got a lot of tank casualties and lost both helicopters, I think. Now we have uh, both helicopters and tank kills have been few, but there haven't been massive amount of them. They're killing my crew. So this could go either way. Problem is, we're just not hitting. And when we hit, we're not getting the, all the important kills. So it's pretty hard to try to fight like this. An immo immo immobilized target is not a victory for us. It's basically a delay before it starts killing us. It's sitting there doing nothing but aiming and aiming and aiming. Yeah, this, uh, this has already failed. So this won't work. We need to find we need to do something else. Yeah, half one platoon entirely wasted already, and it's uh, the core army platoon anyway. So I'm I'm declaring this as a failure already because most of the fighting is still undone, and we've lost not we lost a third of the tanks here, maybe more. Third destroyed, one disabled, or more than third destroyed. And one disabled, so close to, I would say half of the tanks are totally worthless here already. Fighting is still raging on, most of the enemies are intact, we uh, haven't really achieved a goddamn thing. So this is just not a place where we can go to. We would have to have a comparable number as I feel. We're so outnumbered here that we have to simply squeeze them into this, where we can handle them a few at a time. I, I think we should abandon the northern uh, area entirely, do more or less the same thing at the center, and uh, fight the southern group first, because we can fight them totally separate from the northern group. We will have to strengthen the center group, because that's where more, most of the fighting is going to happen. So a couple of platoons of tanks have to go here, but I think the core army can pretty much entirely be at the south to face the east. Handful of BMPs and T-55As. Once we secure this, we have the full length of the mission to fight through. But yeah, this this is not 